One and two. sweet tune called the Banshee. And I've done a lot of videos about this one, but I really wanted to break it down again for some of my students. So I'll just talk you through it uh, so you understand the format of the tune. The nice thing about this tune is that the A part, the first part, it's the same thing four times, okay? It's really the same thing twice, and then it repeats. So you end up playing the same thing four times. And then the B part, it uses the same ending from the A part. So there's not a whole ton of new stuff in the B part, which is really nice. So I'll break it down, I think, into two parts. That's the first part. And then... That's the second part. Okay, so there's really just those two phrases and then we do them over and over again. So I'll play the first phrase and then sing it and then play it and sing it and then we'll do the same thing for the second phrase. Here we go. So the first phrase, all of these are really going to follow the G pentatonic scale. So... If you're familiar with that pattern, it will help a lot. It's just the first and the third fingers. Okay. So we start off with a pickup using those notes. And we're going to end up having three slurs, I think, in this first phrase, and they'll all be up bow. So here's the first slur. Down, up. So that's the first phrase. I really recommend singing along. Even if it doesn't sound great, just sing to get the shape of the tune into your head. It'll make it a lot easier to know what's supposed to happen and that'll help you teach yourself the tune. So another really helpful thing if you're struggling with the bowing is to isolate the slurs and just figure out where those slurs go. I like putting them, um, I always put them before a quarter note. So I'm always gonna slur into a quarter note. And then I also have a slur between D, E, and D. Okay? So that's one of the slurs. We start here, beginning. That's into a quarter note. And then I go right into another slur, so. That's all separated. slur there because that last D is a quarter note. So, slur, slur, slur. Okay, so once you've got that first phrase, you can always pause the video, practice that a few times. Here's the second phrase. It starts with the same, um, almost the same pickup, but on the A string. And it starts right on that note B. And that's actually part of the pentatonic scale as well. On the E string, it'll just be a different finger. So all of that is the G pentatonic scale. Those are the 
notes involved in that first half. So here's the first, or here's the second phrase. I'll play it and sing it a few times. Starts on B. almost in the same spot, but it ends up being different notes, so it can be a little bit tricky. So, that's all separated. Slur. D-B-A. And we end up having this accent on the G. We kind of want to emphasize that note G because we're in G, so we go this. again but the second time instead of coming from the D we're gonna come from the A so so that's what happens there in the middle again go again go and then we do this again and that's really the same bowing pattern Not a slur though, it's a tie. And so to break up the tie, which is E slurred to E, it's kind of boring sounding. You can totally just play E, e and then another E and just do that, nothing wrong. But to mark the beat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the, the note G and it sounds way cooler. And then I kind of push into the bow as well. same bowing pattern three times in a row. It's a lot of slurs. If it feels like too many for you, you can always take one out. But here's what I like to do. From the D. Ready again. Ready again. Okay. So the whole second phrase, starting from the note B, it goes. And again. together so that D that open D is the first D and the last D they're the same note okay and that's what ties it together what loops you around so let's play the whole A part now what I just played will actually end up happening four times it happens twice in the A part and then the whole A part repeats so it happens four times what I'll do this first time is I'll stop between each phrase and I'll and just give you a chance to catch up okay so we're gonna start on the open D It'll sound like this. Ready and go. Next phrase, go. Next phrase, go. Next phrase, go. takes you back around, okay? I'll do it now without stopping in between and I will repeat the whole thing this time. So here we go. One and two. Repeat. One 
whole first part. The B part goes up high onto the E string, and then it actually does end up using the same ending from the A part the second time through. So, phrase twice, the beginning of both halves of the A part. So here it is. It's got that cool triplet in there, so I'll do that again. And I do all those separated except for that triplet. So da -de -da, dun dun da -de -da -la. And again. And then we're going to do something really similar to the A part, where we have a tie note, uh, a B slurred to another B is a tie. So we have those two Bs tied together. We're going to cut them with the D. Same thing. I think we did it on the E in the first half. One more time. Sorry, squeaky. Okay. So the A part with that is, or sorry, B part. So it goes, and again, and again, okay? Now after I do the cut, I slur one more note in there. Um, so it ends up being a really long slur. That's what's happening. I just really like hitting that, the B on a down bow, so. So that's what I really like doing there. Sorry. So let me play that whole part together before I go into the string crossing business. So the first half, excuse me, the first quarter of the B section goes like this. Then, because of that weird slur I did before, we end up having a two note slur here. So I can be down bow on that E, that's really important. Here's the next phrase. And it ends with that same cut and a down bow uh, on the B. So here's that part again, we'll sing it. So, at 
that point you know all those parts. Let me just put them together and I'll stop in between this time and, sh and give you time to catch up. So here's the first phrase of the B part. Ready and go. Second phrase. First phrase again. Fourth phrase. Okay, let's do the whole B part without stopping. One and two. to about 20 minute video so I'll end it here with one little variation for the B part that I love if you're feeling like you need a little bit more um, and instead of doing this part so that's really cool that string crossing super cool but it gets kind of repetitive after you've done it so many times and it's really kind of just choppy sounding super cool of course but I like to shake it up and do a little bit of a contrast. So the, the string crossing would be G, B, F sharp, B, E, B. So, comes from the triplet there. So instead of that, I go, add right to the E. 
Sorry. And that's really cool. So. Thanks so much for watching. If you did find this helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I am trying to monetize my YouTube channel, so that would really help me. Thank you so much for being great students. I'll see you guys soon, and take care.